to Beauty by Violet and today I'm back with another tutorial using the Too Faced Pretty Rebels palette. And this palette is so great. So I'm going to do a um, dramatic one since I did a daytime look before with it. And this is using um, Badass. <laughs> you gotta love these names. But lots of sparkles, lots of fun. I mean you could do it, wear this out at night obviously. but to the club or on a, you know, a date or whatever. This is such a great palette. I'm so excited about it. And this look is really dramatic. It's um, really, really sparkly. And I did put on a pair of lashes because it looked like this definitely needs some lashes. So if you wanna see how I did this badass look, just keep watching. I'm just gonna start out with the eyes first because some of the shadows that I'm gonna use have a lot of sparkle to them, so they might fall out a little bit. And I am going to start out with an eyeshadow primer first, and I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. My mirror's not cooperating. I'm just going to apply that from the lash line to the brow. Also underneath the lower lash line. Next, I'm just going to pick up a big fluffy dome shape brush and the color Gangsta. I'm going to put that right in the crease. I'm going to really blend that out to soften it. Next thing I'm going to do is take a 239 brush and I'm going to go in with the color, excuse my French, but badass. <laughs> you gotta like some of these names that these companies come up with. And we're just going to pack that on the lower part of the lid. This has a lot of shimmer to it. It's really fun. Go up to the crease with us and all the way out to the outside corner. So, to just blend that out, I'm just going to pick up a um, big fluffy dome shape brush again and just blend above that. Going to pick up a 217 brush and then I'm going to go in with the color Miss Sparkles, which is this sparkly black. I'm going to make circular motions and kind of the socket of the outside of the eye. I'm going to blend it over and up into the crease. Next I'm just going to pick up a flat fluffy shader brush and I'm going to go in with the color Dainty which is just a nice um, matte color and I'm going to use that to blend out and also highlight the brows. I don't want to use anything too sparkly just because there's so much going on at the bottom part of the eye lid so I'm going to lower Lash line, I'm going to use a uh, 219 brush and I'm going to pick up some of that color badass again. I'm just going to apply some in the inner corner and on the lower lash line, going all the way out. Then I'm going to also take some of that color Miss Sparkles, the black one and put it on the outer, just one third of the eye. Next I'm gonna use the MAC Black Track Fluid Line and then align the inner water line. I'm just gonna use a black coal pencil as a tool. I'm 
I'm gonna also line the upper waterline too. Then I'm just gonna pick up an angle liner brush and some of that fluid line. I'm gonna line the upper lash line. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm going to use the NARS Larger Than Life Mascara. I'm going to fill in my brows next. I'm going to use the Brow um, Mousse from Tarte. And this is just a medium brown. The next thing I'm going to do is do some bronzing and I'm just going to use a flat cheek brush for this and a sculpting powder from MAC which this is called Shade Stir. I'm going to put it on the end of the brush and just apply it right in the contour of my cheeks. So I'm going to do a blush next and um, for the cheek color I'm going to use something matte just because there's so much going on in the eyes. And I'm going to use Ginger Leaf from MAC. I'm going to use my NARS Kabuki brush for this. And I'm just going to apply it to the backs of the cheekbones. For a highlight, I'm going to use a mineralized skin finish from MAC, and this one is in porcelain pink. And I'm just going to pick up a dual fiber cheek brush for this. And I'm just going to place it on the tops of the cheekbones. Lips. Again, I'm the focus is going to be on the eyes, so I want to keep the lips pretty neutral. I'm going to use uh, Makeup Forever Glossy Full Color, and let's see, this one is number eight. It's kind of a corally gloss. So that completes the look. It's real sparkly. It's really dramatic. It's going to be great to wear out at night. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will try to come up with a couple more looks for this palette because this palette is just, it's unending the things that we can do with it. And I will be sure to put a list of all the products that I used on my blog and a link to my blog below. And thanks so much for watching guys and I really hope you subscribe.